Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock with another coloring video. And this time it's a fundraiser stamp from Purple Onion Designs. So you may know that the COVID is returning and there are bad numbers all over the place. Well, it's a perfect time to do a video with a fundraiser stamp. And this is from, as I said, Purple Onion Designs. And it's all one stamp. The picture is all one stamp. It's got the animals all holding hands. They're all in position. You don't have to mask anything or do any fancy stamping. Just stamp one stamp. And this one comes with a bunch of sentiments that go with it including the one that I have stamped on here. There's a bunch of others. And I will link to the fundraiser stamp set in the doobly-doo so you can check it out for yourself and raise a little funds for COVID relief. Because as the numbers go up, we need to get more help out there. So if you're able to help, it's a great idea. And you get a stamp to boot. So I'm using a brush that is, this is actually a prequel to a video that's coming out, I think next week is when I've scheduled it on brushes. And this brush is a Winsor & Newton number eight brush. And it's one of the, you know, I, I don't have a ton of these, but it's one of my natural hair brushes. And I love my natural hair brushes. I love the soft look that I can get with them. Now I can make a silver brush do this if I try really hard, but I have to try really hard. <laughs> if I use a natural hair brush, the softness and the looseness comes naturally to me. It's one of the things I like about them. I like how they put out water on the paper versus how the silver brush does it. And in the coming up video, I will have lots more information for you on brushes and I'll be demoing kind of what I mean by the brush splooging out paint in with one brush and the other holds onto it more. So. I still use all of them in my painting. I use a ton of different brushes, but I encourage you if you've got a birthday coming up or you have Christmas presents that you need, tell somebody you want a natural hairbrush because they are beautiful and they glide across the paper in a different way than synthetic brushes do. So that's one of the things I really do love about them. But this first layer, I'm just painting colors on in a very light coat of paint. I want this to be light and whimsical and airy. So have started out with just that light coat with a bunch of different mixes of different colors from my palette. The only one that's of great interest is actually the little piggy who I mixed by making some, uh, I think it was quinacridone pink with a little bit of new gamboge in it to make it a little bit on the salmon side instead of just plain pink, which works nicely for him. And I'll also use that color for the inside of the bunny ears and the mousy ears. So doing a little bit of dragging around color to soften some of the edges on the rabbit. And then everything dried. That, I know that didn't look like it dried very long, but I, it was a little edit there. And now I'm using the silver brush because I want a little bit of a harder edge on the section where I'm adding this darker color because I'm mixing thicker pigments and I want to have a little more of those hard edges. The silver brush can get to more of a fine point than a natural hair brush of the same size because this is also a number eight. Now, not all companies number eights look like the same number eights. Some, it's kind of like, I don't know, sock sizes or something. Somebody says it's a, a large sock and it's not a large sock. And then another company says it's a large sock and it is a large sock, but they're, they're relatively close in general, but you get more of a point with a, a brush like this. The brush stays stiffer, it's less supple and that's good for putting into controlled areas like this. And for stamping, it's one of the reasons that I do recommend in general having the silver brushes because most people aren't gonna do the full backgrounds like I do. They're not gonna need to cover large areas, but the silver brushes have a harder time doing that. Whereas a natural hairbrush is, it finds that much easier to do because it, it retains more pigment and water when it's picked up and then it puts it out in a really nice even way instead of you know sometimes you may have noticed the silver brush just wants to hold on to the paint and wants to keep it in the brush 
So I'm just going to finish up here by adding a little bit more of the pinks into the ears because I think that's adorable. And adding a little bit of yellow because every card has to have some yellow on it. And my little, little owl needed a little bit of yellow on his beak and his little feet. And then using, of course, the silver brush to do the tiny details of the little ties that two of the critters are wearing. And then I decided to add a little bit darker color on the ground just to have a little difference between that and the soft background where all that color just melts out into the sky. So really cute stamp, fun and easy to color, and it's for a good cause. So feel free to go pick one up for yourself over at Purple Onion Designs. Links in the doobly-doo as well as over on the blog. And that's about it for me for today. I will see you again in a couple of days with a new video. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.